Welcome to Maple Ridge Chrysler, my name is Jamar Lee and today I'll be showing you this great 2014 Ram 3500 SLT Heavy Duty 4x4. Coming around to the front of this blue vehicle, we have here our quad halogen headlamps as well as our fog lamps down there at the bottom. The vehicle is equipped with front towing hooks as well as a block heater and for the engine. There's a 6.7 liter diesel engine in this vehicle. It is a Cummins diesel engine. Cummins has been making diesel engines for almost 100 years and they make nothing else. It is the only vehicle that shares um, an engine with commercial sized trucks. If you come in here to the tire, we will see our chromed out completely aluminum 17 inch rims with our winter force firestone tires these tires have a great amount of tread left on them now coming up to the window we will see our indicator light right here as well as it is a breakaway mirror which means in the case of a minor hit of something or someone hits you it'll break off it'll break away just to the front or to the back and it won't actually come off the vehicle it also has a convex mirror in order for greater visibility along the side now as we're about to step into the vehicle I just want to show you a few of the features on the remote the remote is equipped with a lock button as well as an unlock button you press once to lock the whole vehicle and once to open the whole entire vehicle there's also the double press right here which is a remote start so you just double press it and your vehicle starts up there we go the vehicle will not go anywhere because all the doors are locked and in the case that someone might enter they can't take the vehicle because there is no um, key inside so let's step in here in the front door of the vehicle, we have here our power mirror controls, power window controls, and our power lock controls. There's a great amount of storage in the door, as well as a water bottle and cup holder down here. And one of the speakers in this vehicle that is a part of the Alpine sound system. Coming into the left side of the wheel, we have here our headlamp controls, which we can set on auto, which means uh, the lights will adjust according to the brightness of the day. Coming down here, we have our parking brake, as well as behind the wheel, we have our lever to adjust the height of the wheel, this button to adjust how close or how far your accelerator and brakes are from your feet, as well as there's these triggers on both sides of the wheel, which allow you to tune through your radio stations and presets, as well as go up and down the volume. Now I'm gonna climb in, so just bear with me for a moment as I adjust and I'm gonna put the key in the ignition we're gonna get it started now we have this large cluster display right now on the left we have our tachometer and our right we have our speedometer with the middle having a large digital display that is customizable we are currently looking at our coolant our uh, actually our fuel economy let's go back and let's flip through a few more of these options we have our trip information we have our trailer and audio information we also have our speed which can easily be changed into miles per hour we also have our vehicle information like engine hours etc Coming to the wheel, we will see our voice recognition controls as well as our remote to control that digital display on the cluster display. We also have our cruise control buttons. Coming into the center, we have our 8.4 Uconnect screen. The screen is huge and it's actually a touch screen. Using this screen, we can flip through a few of the options like our media, our mobile media, which also includes our radio. As I mentioned, we have Cirrus Satellite Radio, AM and FM, of course. 
We, have, we can connect mobile media devices using USB auxiliary, Bluetooth, or an SD card. We also have our climate controls. Currently the heated seats are on, the mirror dimmer is on. We also have heated wheels and heated seats for the passenger. We can also turn up and down our climate to different temperatures and turn up our fan all by a touch of the screen as well as our knobs below. We can pair a phone, which we're not going to do at this time, and there are further customizable settings. Below that we have here our climate controls, our controls for um, our exhaust brakes, our towing and haul, our traction control, our heated seats, our heated wheel, our other heated seats, our park sense, and we, um, I am actually going to show this to you. We do have a backup camera on this vehicle, so all I have to do is put it in reverse, and there the screen changes. That's a very large screen, so you're not having to squint to see. Coming over here, we have our um, two-wheel drive, our four-wheel drive lock, our four-wheel drive low, and our neutral button. We have our DC plug here, the drawer in the middle, and another USB power port, as well as an AC power plug. We have two large glove compartments and in the center console we have here our three large cup holders as well as in here we have our SD card reader, auxiliary jack and USB port as well as another DC plug and this mechanism to keep change from rolling around everywhere. The 40-20-40 split in the front seat means that their middle console turns into another seat for the vehicle, allowing six people to sit in this cabin. Up here before we step out, I want to point out that there's a universal garage door remote. I'm going to turn the vehicle off and let's finish doing this walk around. Here in the back door of the vehicle, we will see that it is a full door, meaning that this is a crew cab. Coming into the door, we have here our power window with a great amount of storage and another one of your speakers. Looking into the back, we will see a 60-40 split in the back seat, which means your seats split like that. And there's also these really cool stands that pop up right here, and they fold flat across the whole floor, allowing you to store things flat if the need be. We also have our cup holders in the back, and the middle armrest also has two cup holders in it. Coming around to the back, we will see our extra long step rail along the side and actually up and over the back. The back also has straps and anchors along the back in the box in order to help strap down large loads. And these are for your fifth wheel hitch attachment if you so desire. This large box is actually eight feet long Again, I want to show you that here is your backup camera. You have your towing hookups right here, as well as your towing hitch right here. This vehicle has the greatest rating for torque, and the Cummins diesel engine is actually the only diesel engine that is rated to go up to 1 million miles. Here we also have our, our rear park sense sensors. Thank you so much for doing this walk around with me on this 2014 Ram 3500 SLT 4x4 Heavy Duty. Hope you'll come down to Maple Ridge Chrysler to check out this vehicle or other new and used options. Have a great day. Bye-bye.